unfortunately, I've got some sad news. <laughs> Has to deal with the Suburban, which obviously sucks. All right, so what happened was we decided to trade. The Suburban didn't have a title, and I didn't have a title, obviously, but I was getting it because I was tired of the individuals arguing with me about this is on all this is all marketplace of course i posted the car with no title and very cheap and i still had people arguing me arguing with me on facebook marketplace about why the car didn't have a title i explained why the car didn't have a title i have video evidence of why the car didn't have a title <laughs> but they still people would just get on there they wouldn't even be interested in the car they would just argue with me it was so stupid but i got a title now I got a title for the BMW and I was uh, wanting to trade it. This guy offered me a Suburban with no title, but he said he was getting the title. So we, you know, talked a little bit, swapped. I knew it was kind of fishy at first, but I didn't know how fishy it was. So this is a lesson learned. I'll never do this again, obviously. But we swapped vehicles and I kept in touch with him, of course, but he never was able to get me a title. So the story with that was he was talking to his mom and he was like working out the details, trying to get a title because she could get it or she knew where it was. She could get it. So I was, I wasn't too worried about it, but I told him I would keep the title to keep my title until I got a title for the sub suburban. So I really liked the suburban went, and cleaned it up and you know, it was great. I liked it. It was a good trade. I thought it was a good trade. You know, my car was beat up a little bit, no title. His car was beat up a little bit with no title. Well, mine had a title, of course, now, because I was I was in the process. When we traded, I was in the process of getting the title. So, um, I did a clean car. I did Carfax on it. It was clean, but I didn't scroll all the way to the bottom, or I didn't pay attention one, but scrolled all the way to the bottom, or it had like a, a ton of, um, rip, uh, not repairs, but uh, service records, which I thought was really cool because it's been been well taken care of. It didn't look like it was very well taken care of, but it'd been well taken care of. So, according to the Carfax. Well, uh, Nick had noticed it. This is after I traded and had the car for a couple, I had the car for a day or so. And Nick had noticed at the end of the Carfax, there was a lien put on the title and there wasn't, it hadn't been signed off yet. So, uh, message the guys like, hey, there's a lien on this title. And do you know of any liens on this title? Because it doesn't look the lien had been signed off. I'm just making sure. He said, I don't know anything about it. My mom was the one that owned it. She's getting the title, whatever. Okay, it's okay. Uh, you're good, as long as everything was good. Now, I have a system, you know, because we deal with titles. Me being a dealer, um, you know, we have a system where we do this. But our work computer, where everything is signed in at, is at the office, like our car lot office. And so that's where my kayak and stuff is. So eventually I was going to go out there and I would have ran the top, you know, the tag or the, not the tag, the title and all that for the Suburban to figure out. I would eventually figured that out, but I had so much going on, especially at the subdivision um, where we live right now. That's also a thing we're moving. <laughs> Sorry to spill that, but um, there was, you know, issues here and we're just so stressed out about all this stuff. So I just haven't been out to Nick's to wash my kayak and run the title to the Suburban. And I was going to drive the Suburban out there to show Nick. So that was the plan anyway. Well, um, my friend and this couple that I have really close friends of mine, they are, they have a system where they, they work for a company that does title loans or, uh, does repos and stuff. So they have a system where they can look up, you know, if there's a loan or a lien on a vehicle and they can find out. So he did that for me. Just, you know, just being a cool, cool dude, <laughs> good friend. And uh, he sent me all the information on it. So I messaged the guy and told him that, Hey, there is a lien on this. I don't know how much it's for, but I know there is a lien on this vehicle and just wondering if it's been taken care of. So he said he's trying to figure it out, whatever. And a couple of days passed by, and then he messaged me and said, hey, there is actually a loan on the vehicle that I did not have any knowledge about because I was given this vehicle. So not sure what to do. And I was like, well, how much is it? Because I was thinking about, you know, I'll just go pay it off. It's got to be nothing but like a 1000 bucks. That's not that valuable of a vehicle. So who would, in their right mind, would 
give over a thousand bucks on a loan on this vehicle. Somebody did. Because <laughs> he messaged me back and said they still owe forty five hundred dollars on this truck. I was like, yeah, you're gonna have to bring the BMW back. So he was really cool about it. He brought the BMW back. We traded back. Got the BMW back. So now I have the BMW with a with the title, and that's just that. Um, on the where I said we were moving on that end of the deal there, um, it's just a whole lot of craps going on at this subdivision. Um, really, the most to sum it up. People just don't know how to stay in their lane when it comes to this place. If you know where I live, most everybody does. <laughs> don't uh, don't move here. <laughs> it's just I'm just saying it like that. Uh, Taylor is the property manager. She tries to do the best she can with her job and what she is tasked with. But there is individuals here that think they run this thing, and and I'm being really nice when I say stuff when I'm talking right now because I don't know how much I can say because we have an active lawsuit against a, a very few individuals that live here that made our life a living hell in the last week. So, that being said, I am going to shut up now. But just know, the individuals that cause hell for the last couple of weeks, you suck. <clears throat> and I had to delete my last video <laughs> because, <clears throat> anyway, grow up, stay in your lane. On to the next thing. The live stream. It went well today. All because of this. This is a phone. <laughs> I was not live streaming from this phone. This phone is a active router. That's what this is. Um, I paid to have this phone converted into a router. So anywhere I go, I will always have single signal. And it's not a hotspot signal. This phone is use is this is an active mobile router. Just like I said. That's what I uh, had the individual do it. I'm not sure how much I can say on that. So allegedly, this cell phone is a router. Allegedly. Anyway, the live stream went well today, and it was all because of this. Um, if I tried to just live stream from my phone, from my cellular data, I would run out of data, unfortunately, and uh, it wouldn't be so well because I don't have service anywhere in Coleman. I use... Spectrum for mobile service and I live in the middle of the city and I have one bar right now. Legit. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. One bar. And, the, and I live in the literal middle of the city. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, it's a good thing I got the mobile hotspot because we are moving and we are moving and where we're moving is secluded. There's nobody around and it's a Pretty big house, the garage. It's gonna be great. We're gonna make some content in that garage. Um, so I'm super, I'm super excited about it. I hate that we're leaving Coleman, but unfortunately, you know, people are stupid, and these are grown, grown adults, man, and they're so stupid. One of them is a grandma. I'll be honest with you, and it's just like grow up, you know. So there's just been so much stress. <laughs> So much stress in the last few weeks. It is uh, unbelievable. So we are on the verge of moving. We will be moved in the next month or so. And then, then yeah, that's that for the most part. So there's your quick update on that. Thank you for everybody that joined the live stream today. I'm going to be live streaming a lot more in the next few weeks. And uh, I think that is that. Yeah, for the most part. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Which one I do. Bye.